What's good, y'all? This your man, Big Vic, back again with the new video. This time I'm back with that 90s feel. That, mm, that era. I'm, st I'm, I'm stuck in that era right this minute, so y'all got to excuse me for giving y'all some of that 90s flavor because we really don't get a lot of that. So I'm giving y'all a taste of some of that goodness. So um, we got a track. I went in, created, and <clears throat> it's some of that goodness, some more of that goodness. So let's get into the track. I'm going to play the track, then come back and break it down for y'all, kind of show y'all what I used um, to put this particular production together. So let's get it. Yeah, so I don't think y'all mind if I if I let that ride a little bit like that. So, um, cause it just mm, no that that track just it it does something to me. Like it 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 puts me right back to where music really really meant something. <laughs> you know, when that 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 all that heat it was just dropping heat. Everything was sounding different. Nothing sounded the same. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's break this track down, y'all. Um, let's go to the first instrument I used. Um, I went into Omnisphere, grabbed this e bold piano cue. And the way that this sounded, uh, it sounded like it could have came from a record that I, cho that I chopped up the way that I played it. So here we go. Just, it's just some chords that that pretty basically repeats um, back to back. So that was the first sound I used. Second was my drums, of course. Uh, <clears throat> just some basic one, two, nice um, old school feeling type uh, drums. Just a nice one, two, off beat. No quantize. Drums are really loose, I call it. Call it that sloppy goodness. And uh next was the bass. Now for this bass, I went and grabbed that mini. Just some of that vintage. This is a little bit of that vintage. This one is called the gentle giant. Uh Artoria. That's that funk. That's that funk, right? So next instrument was the Rhodes. And of course, we went into the Lounge Lizard. Electric piano. Grab the Rhodes. 
a little pitch bend on it. Gives us a nice, warm sound. Sounds beautiful. I love that. Love that piano right there. That was just a little something, just to accent the track, just to give it a nice, nice feel. Nice feel. Then we went went back into the um, analog lab, right? And I grabbed this lead. I actually grabbed that lead and I took it. Let's solo that. I grabbed that lead. I grabbed that lead and I put a little effect on it. It's spinning here. Hopefully this stops. Wow, really? Alright, so <clears throat> for some reason my mouse is spinning. So I may have to pause this video. Alright, so I'm back. Had to restart this joint. But anyway, um next sound I actually went and got a chop. Went um to the great old YouTube and grabbed a quick chop from my boy, the funk doctor spot. Red man and uh grab this sample. The Funkadelic, 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 Funkadelic. So and put a delay on it, of course. Um this track, uh delay tape sync. This track actually put me in the mind of this particular artist. Um after I listened to it and created the track, I was like, I hear this is who I hear on this track. So I just wanted to get a little quick chop, throw it on there. And see what it sounded like and actually fit just like a glove because he's the perfect artist for this track so <clears throat> now these plugins right have really been doing some phenomenal well helping me create some phenomenal production now it's not always the plugins it's the person behind the plugins let's get that straight first now <clears throat> a lot of you guys have been saying that the sound has increased the sound is sounding like way better than the production over on reason now I've been in the Reason box for quite a long time. Like, I've been with Reason. I have really been wanting to put my hands on these VSTs, but couldn't really get them in Reason like I wanted to easily. So I, I, I strayed away from the VSTs and just tried to focus on refills that I could get for my Reason setup. Now, for some reason, these VSTs sound super warm, I got access to this these these analog synths, um, the old school vintage uh, VSTs and plugins, and this just it's opening up a whole new world of production for me because there must be something about these plugins because if a lot of a lot of comments are coming in saying that the sound is like ten thousand times better. So that tells me something that there must be something about these plugins and people can actually hear a difference in the sounds that I usually that I usually use in my reason setup. I guess maybe reason sounds are cleaner because now that I'm really hearing listening to both both uh the NPC and reason like reason sounds must be cleaner and the VSTs over here on the MPC must be a lot warmer and sound fatter because this many people responding like that it has to be something like it's just a no-brainer so which really has opened up my eyes like have I just really not been paying those VSTs that much attention because I was stuck in the reason world. 
So obviously there's some type of, there's a big difference. But nevertheless, I can bang out in either program. Um, I'm loving what I'm hearing coming out of the NPC. So, you know, more of my production will be produced on the NPC. And automations and all that other stuff that I love to do in Reason, I can still pull my stuff over in Reason and do what I need to do as far as that goes. Even though I can do some automations over here and um, the NPC, but being that I'm new over here, I'm fluent over in Reason with automations and um, just doing certain things as far as the sequencers go. Um, this sequencer is just as easy, but... <clears throat> I'm really digging what I'm able to put out on this NPC. Like, it's just clear as day. I can hear the difference. I really can hear the difference myself. So, um, and I'm love it, and I'm inspired. So, uh, um, let me guys, let y'all y'all guys tell me what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. This has been my experience so far. So. Um, comment hit that thumbs up button if you dig the track and uh of course i'm gonna see you guys in my next video i'm out peace and love